In this video, we'll answer the question of how much does it cost to sail from the Great Lakes, Canada, all the way down to the Florida Keys. And we're going to go in detail about costs such as our food costs, fuel costs, dock costs, also our alcohol costs, our boat related costs, and a few miscellaneous costs. And make sure to stay to the end when we're going to tally up all of those different costs. We really took our time as we sailed down the 1863 nautical mile journey and it took us around 120 days in total. We sailed across the Erie Canal down the Hudson River into New York City and then we went offshore along the New Jersey coast before going up the Delaware, down the Chesapeake Bay and then following the ICW all the way down to the Florida Keys. Make sure to subscribe down below if you'd like more area specific videos that we'll be doing in the future. Our total food costs were $1,652. We don't go out very often to eat. I, we rather just go and buy a lot of groceries and then cook on board. Then you can make all sorts of different meals. They're much more cheaper and it's really convenient when you're on the way because then you don't have to stop anywhere. You can just have a lunch on the go pretty much. But we also like trying out different foods as we're traveling. So in New York City, we went out at quite a few different places. We just love trying out all the different street vendors and different kind of food. Or in Kingston, we ended up going at the old Savannah because we had the free dock if we went out to eat. So that was convenient. Or at different places like the Griffin in Charleston. It's kind of fun going out and eating when you're in bigger cities that you're going to be out and exploring all day long without coming back home. Our fuel costs were $493. One of the good things about being in a sailboat is that it doesn't cost you much fuel. And whenever we could, we sailed instead of motored, especially offshore. With no mast on the Erie Canal, we didn't have a choice but to motor. Our little Yanmar 2GM uses about a half gallon of diesel per hour. In the ICW, we also did a lot of motoring because it's so narrow. With the many free docks along our trip, we didn't really need to use our dinghy or as much fuel to get to and from the shore axis. And our docking cost us $134. We really didn't spend much money on docks compared to a lot of people maybe. But that's because we really enjoyed going at anchor and having the nice scenery, quiet peace away from everyone. So we anchored as much as we could. And then when we were cruising along the Erie Canal, there's free docks in almost every single city so that you stop there and go spend money in their cities. So we did a lot of free docks along there as well as other parts of the trip. And then there's also a few places we treated ourselves to a mooring ball, like in New York City or Annapolis, because it was just so much more convenient to then go and explore the town. And those mooring balls were 25 to $30 for the night, so that was pretty good. And including showers. Click on the bell up above if you'd like to receive yet another notification that you can't help but ignore. Our alcohol costs were $447. We're not really big drinkers, but we do like our alcohol and sundowners like most sailors. The best part is our patio or our bar is right in our cockpit. We tend to enjoy drinks on board rather than going out because it's cheaper and we get the incredible view with it. We did go out a few times to treat ourselves. On the Erie Canal in Lockport, we did some wine tasting with all sorts of different strange flavors and wines that we had never tasted before. We also did a moonshine tasting in North Myrtle Beach. That was a really fun night. Our boat related costs totaled to $1,552. As with any old boat, there's always something that needs to be fixed or upgraded. We spent lots of money on parts and spares for the Bahamas. We even had to upgrade our solar panels ahead of schedule which was $285 for 300 watts. Consignment stores have lots of used and cheaper stuff that you just have to kind of look around, but it's one of my favorite places to shop. We found a storm jib for $150. After the Erie Canal, we had to step our mast and become a sailboat once again. But we did this 
cheap as always, for $55 by doing it ourselves. Our stove and oven runs on alcohol, and we pay $10 to $20 per gallon, which lasts 20 to 30 days, depending on how much we cook. And miscellaneous costs were $867. So there's a lot of different things that can fall into this category, one of which is doing laundry. Especially when it's cold, it's not really convenient washing things on board, so we did laundry in most cities. Another expense was our pump-outs. A lot of places offer free pump out because they don't want you to discharge in the waterways. But there is also areas that we had to pay five to ten dollars. And whenever we were offshore, we'd just pump overboard. And then a bunch of little random things like stamps, fishing lures, first aid things, sunglasses. To recap, here are all our costs. We spent in total $5,147 for our trip all the way down the coast. Click over here for a playlist of more cost-related content. And click here for our video about how much does it cost to sail the Erie Canal. <laughs>